Hello and welcome back. Um, I am going to be playing some more Planet Zoo today. I'm Archer. Um, I'm excited to have you along with me. Last night I took it upon myself to add a giant otter habitat and we're going to revisit that and see what we can do to make it nice for our giant otters and see what else we can do for our zoo. Um, I'm going to be playing franchise mode and um, I have no idea what's going to happen just because franchise mode is like that. Um, so let's start off. Okay. All right. So we already have our uh, daily rewards, our conservation credits, and my zoo is located in North America and I have it called Tigeria Prairie. And I have a three and a half star rating, um, mostly grassland animals, 25316 dollars and four cents. I have 39 different animals now that it does include exhibits as well and as I found out last night Goliath beetles they breed like crazy. And then last but not least we have 915 guests in the park right now with a pretty good satisfaction rating. So let's get to it. All right. Oh, look. Our first thing off the bat, we see a giant otter who is playing. And this is all underwater, by the way. So you can see they are swimming up there. Um, this is the deep end of the section here. And we have this fish feeder. And what this fish feeder does is it um, is enrichment for the otters. And this, since it is all downstairs, I do have a nice viewing area that I have like, or that I built last night. Um, oh, what's going on? Oh, of course. Okay. All right. Well, I guess our first order of business is to move this guy. We're going to move him right here. That'll keep him out of the way. Um, but the vet will be there soon to take care of Hota's body. What in the world is going on there? Oh. That was weird. There isn't much to see in this zoo? Oh my gosh. Joni, you can go back to where you came from. Oh. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, no. How many green iguanas do we have? Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and take care of our youngins here. Or we can actually... Okay, let's see here. Not Zoopedia. <sighs> We're gonna quick trade you. And... We're also... We'll quick trade you that you as well. There we go. That should help with that. More research being done. I do not work at a zoo, um, but I am creating one. Um, 
I did work in the, the vet med, veterinary medicine um, area for a while before I went back to teaching. And what are we? Giant otter? Yes, and Goliath beetle. Okay. All right. Let's take. Oh, VIP guest. Oh, where are you at? Monkey Yub. We're going to say hello. And we get our 20 conservation credits. Woohoo! All right. We're going to check in on our baby bison from last night. Oh my gosh, there's three of them. All right, zookeeper, I'm going to need you to come clean up this mess. Look at this habitat. Okay. All right. Cleanliness is 100. Okay, all right. Uh, the keepers do come pretty often. <gasps> oh, we're about to mate. Oh. Oh, okay. Aw, they're, they're okay. Well, <laughs> this is definitely one way to start off our stream. We're starting off with a death, um, some poop, and uh, some mating going on. So, okay, oh, your genetics aren't too great, though, so we'll see how you come out. But then again, you're awfully cute. Um, oh, yes. R. What in the world is going on? There we are. This is that underwater viewing area. Oh my gosh, they're on the sides here. That is so okay. What's going on with their social group? Oh, the group size is too large. All right, well, let's take care of that. Oh, man. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are too large. Grasslands uh, exhibit. You guys can have one to six. Okay, so we need to get rid of some of you guys. And unfortunately, we cannot release you into the wild. Okay, we're going to take you. And you. And you. And you, you, and you. Let's see here. That gives us a male. Oh, it still gives us a few. We're going to quick trade you. Alright. So that should help you guys. And we should be able to give you some better stuff here. Oh. See, I need a I need to get going on that. All right, we're gonna give you three basking lambs because we want to fry you. I mean, we. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In real life, three is a little too much. Camouflage, basking lambs. See, I was just there. Tropical plants. Long wide trunks and of course some basking lamps for our boas. And I have an empty exhibit there as well as right there. Alright, Goliath Beetles, how many of there are you now? Oh, still three. Oh. Elderly Goliath beetles. Nope, that's not what I meant. What? Call that mechanic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I 
I guess that's the most we can do. Oh, we're about to have offspring. Oh, you're going to have it in the rain. Will you at least go to your shelter here? Oh, come on. Of course. All right, Mama. All right, Mama. She definitely looks uncomfortable, that's for sure. Oh, Daddy. Wait, 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 wait. I only had two. <gasps> How did the baby... Oh, these... Oh, there's a baby. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, we had two. Oh, 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 okay. You saw that, right? Okay, so our genetics aren't great, but we have a boy and a girl. Oh, they're so cute. And there should be daddy, Javier. <sighs> okay, I urgently assigned one. Holy cow, look at all of that poop. Oh, we had another black parry dog die. What the heck? What's going on with the camera? Whoa, okay. Something went really weird with that camera. Where's my zoo? Oh, there's the zoo. Okay. Claim reward. Nice. Well, of course my guests are going to go down. There's like a bajillion of them and it's raining outside. Okay. Let's take a look at our research here. Oh. That should give us more enrichment for our giant otters. I'm not seeing how that toy, fun fact, and food. Oh, that's level two. Toy enrichment? What extra toy? Just a regular block of ice? Oh, that's a block of froze, frozen ice. These otters are just loving this. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? How adorable. The little fin- oh, can you get back up? Oh, you're not wanting to? You know what? That is kind of a jump. What if I take this guy and rotate him? Just, oh, 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 oh. Okay, and so
a little bit better, a little bit more natural looking. We're going to add a little bit more rock there. Do -do -do -do. Oh, no, not on top of you, little guy or girl. I don't know which one you are right now. Where's the little one? There. Look how cute you are. Oh, I was going to add some <sighs> some of these guys. Oh. We have another death in the family. Okay, and we'll put you guys for our giant otters. Four. All right. Okay. Blacktail Prairie Dog. Every time you, I click on you because one of y'all died. Now. I only have one of you now? Oh, I don't have any of you? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, shoot. adopt you. Oh, yes, I know. Bah. Oh, crap. I'm not ready to send y'all to y'all are still babies still babies Whew. sorry for that camera work look at the baby that's a mama that's a mama and that big daddy boy taking a poop and then there's another mama yeah, literally just vacuumed it up from right underneath him. Thank you. Let's get you back and going. See, when I click that, that must be a new bug. Oh, well, that, okay, that must be a bug because I was not having that issue last night. to view it from this angle. So with our giant otters, that is when we kind of started at the 
It's not a five star. My education is still four. I don't know how I can make it really much better. I can try. But now that I have this big ginorm the giant otter is literally the biggest e exhibit I have, or biggest habitat rather. Ooh, another VIP guest. Oh, that's me. I can't say hi to me. So, let's put some more of these guys out here. Giant otter. Giant otter. Okay, we're gonna have to put some the beetles back on birth control because look, wow, they are very promiscuous. <laughs> Goliath, beetle, literally. See, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> look at all of those. Okay, so let's get rid of some of these guys. Why are all of my golds? There's a male. There we go. Quick trade, y'all. No power? You would think... Alrighty, alrighty. That gave you power, but man. And last but not least, let's put one. Oh, that's backwards. Just right here. Oh no. Giant otter and boom da da doom. Look, I did it again. Where are we? The cleanliness is okay.
Okay, all right, well, we're getting a little bit of walk around here, but like I said, that's a big walk around area for such a small little creatures. I would have liked it to go on over to just pop it over, like had all this sunk in, but last night's stream, I just could not get it to, to work the way I wanted it to. So that's what we got, that's what we ended up with. It's not quite as pretty, in my opinion, as our cougar exhibit. Oh, okay, we need to get a mail in here. Okay, cougar. Confirm. You have no immunity? Do you have FIP? I wish we could afford you. We're going to adopt you. And... We're going to move you over here. Oh, cancel move. Cancel move. Because I was trying to move the wrong one. Send a zoo. There we go. <sighs> okay. mechanics oh well that could be why That could be why. Okay. We have more offspring. Look at all these offspring. High amounts of litter. Oh, there we go. Okay, I would like to know what this is all about. I know what that is. Uh, 
Oh, all right. Let's check our our beetles real quick. Yay. Okay. Yes, I'm aware of that. I want to know how many Goliath beetles. Look, we got rid of all those Goliath beetles and they're back. Man, these guys. All right. I have to see. Goliath beetle. Poly... Polyg polygonous? Oh. My gosh. And they can only have one to eight. Excluding juveniles. Gestation period is like zero. But they are... Uh, they are... Beetles. Goliath beetles are solitary animals other than to mate or compete over mates. They don't interact in the wild. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of all of y'all. Jeez, if you want to make some money, just get... Oh my gosh. There are so many. So many. I'm going to take care of you. And you. Might as well just do you. And we'll get rid of y'all. And sure, why not you guys as well? And how about you? So we've got a male and a female, a male and a female. Quick trade. Get rid of them all. those Goliath beetles some contraceptives and we give them to the guys I don't know how you give beetles contraceptives I don't know how you would prevent them from breeding besides separating them completely oh 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 I'm glad we didn't log off And just like that, we have a cougar. Her genetics aren't great, but hopefully we'll be able to send her. offspring to or yeah send her back to the wild I don't think we will be able to because she is elderly <sighs> okay so that's not changing oh my goodness oh Okay. Oh, because there's a new male in there. Okay. Well. There's so much that needs to be done in this zoo. So much that needs to be done. First of all, if I would go back and redo this, I would make this plaza much bigger. What? Why is that knocked over? Um, I would redo this plaza. It's very small. There's no queues for these people. Um, the drink areas are very plain. And then this right here is a big choke point and I can't really expand it without decreasing the habitat of the prairie dogs. Um, one, and if you look closely here, um, one area goes to the bathrooms and then one goes downstairs, but holy cow, that is a ton of people. Why are they? Oh, because they're thirst. 
I am truly in awe of that cougar. Um, how's this barrier doing? So I've definitely been looking at some ways to re redo or at least different ideas on how to build some of these habitats. Um, I don't want to give up on this zoo just yet, but I'm um, oh, sorry about that. Uh, I, I do feel that there is definite room for improvement. Um, now, if you look at this zoo versus my first sandbox zoo, and well, we can go ahead and do that. Save and exit to main menu. Uh, you can tell that with the first sandbox, I was just learning, just learning how to play the game. Um, I'd been through the tutorial, but I just didn't have much. Um, so my zoos. I called it the Broken Arrow Zoo. Um, there we go, sorry. So this is the uh, first zoo that I ever did. And it's definitely, um, it's like, it's, yeah, and you can tell. Uh, there's some really cool stuff. I do have a nice big grand plaza and I used a lot of the conservation pack here. Um, all of the buildings are in the conservation uh, DLC pack. Um, I've got a Siberian tiger exhibit. I love Siberian tigers. But if you can tell, like I just use really tall barriers instead of just dropping this down so uh, guests could just peer in um, and a lot of duplication of some trees there it looks like and I didn't know that you could build your own shelters I thought you had to use the ones that were pre-programmed into the game um, I do have a walk-in habitat here that's with the fallow deer um, that's my first walk-in habitat um, again, all of these are real tall barriers, um, and this is the first water one that I did. Uh, this is the capybaras and the Baird's tapir and the giant ant eaters, and they're really cool. But man, these capybaras—they are definitely rodents and definitely breed fast, but not as fast as the Goliath beetles. See, I had to use all of these shelters because I just. I did not realize there's our giant ant eater that you could just build your own. I did learn how to. Oh, I did learn how to change the barriers to the glass window style. Um, so that is neat. Uh, here are the elephants. It's very plain in here. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's just, there's so much that could be done. This is the little staff area, uh, kind of hidden from people. Um, another little hidden area, but... Oh, and here are the warthogs and ostriches. Again, these are just very simple enclosures. Um, all of the trees, I just looked to see what was in that natural habitat. So. I mean, it was cool. I threw all the enrichment items up front. Little fallow deer. So yeah, the shelters had to do multiple shelters and such just one larger shelter. I heard the tiger. Oh, we're eating. These are the cubs. Oh, are we peeing? 
We're pooping. So. They're very cute. Look how cute that baby is. Oh, that's a butt. I wonder how I could do a screenshot. So, yeah, I mean, there's been different, I'm learning how to play the game. I'm watching people and their advanced builds. See, like, I just threw this out here so that way it wouldn't interfere with everybody. Uh, same with this one. Um, and if I zoom real out, you can tell I have a master area here. Uh, pardon me. I have a master area that I had plans for pathwise, um, but and I snipped them so that way a guest wouldn't get lost, and that I could just add to it. And with sandbox mode, you have unlimited finances and conservation credits. Um, you can you have access to everything, like for example, in my in my lion exhibit. Um, looks like my lions are getting ready to mate if they haven't already. Um, in my leg exhibit, I downloaded <laughs> Pride Rock. Um, so, I mean, there's just, it's just, it's cool, but I, I'm, it's just taking time to learn the game better. So, um, so I'm really excited how things are coming, but I hope to do way more streams in the future. I'm going to save you. And, uh, yeah, so. All right, well, I think that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've had a good time. We've been on for over, a little over th from what I had planned. Um, but yeah, tonight was great and I might get on tomorrow night, but we'll see. Thank you again. Uh, and I will see y'all later. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Paul. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to keep doing these streams, hopefully, in the evenings uh, after my kiddo's gone to sleep. So, all right. Well, um, I will see y'all later.